Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Ali Sharma here. Welcome to my room. And today in this video, I'm going to share a good news with you. Flywing is going to release their newest assist program for their H1 GPS helicopter flight controllers. Now, with this new software, you will have access to many more features and many more options that you can tweak for your RC helicopters. Especially, the best thing is that you will have one button which will automatically update the best and well-tested parameters for your Flywing RC helicopters just automatically. Those parameters which are well-tested over and over again and set by Flywing engineers for your RC helicopters. Now you can do that update just by one click using this new software. The question is why Flywing did not give us the access to all those options before? Well, I'm going to answer that question in this video. So let me show you the software and let me show you how I'm updating my Flywing Huey UH1 with the newest parameters using this new software, new access program by, by just one click. And after that, we'll bring it out and give it a test flight and I will show you what has changed. So I have connected my Huey UH1 using a USB cable to my laptop and the software is running. Okay, now I'm just gonna find the COM port which is COM5 right here. And for now, the software is all in Chinese. And uh, I will, I am hoping that they will release the English version very, very soon. I did not power on the helicopter yet. No battery connected. Now we see there right here. I will go to this third tab. Okay, and click this one right here. Now there's a lot of things I can set, but I don't want to touch them because it's completely brand new to me, this software, and everything is in Chinese. So I'm just gonna follow what is said and say, okay. And the sliders move around all by themselves. And I will say, okay. Now, if you're wondering what, what changes are done here, well, I can just see and explain it. The first one at this side, this window, is the self-stabilizing and returning strength. And this one has been moved to 50%. The second one is fixed braking force, how hard the helicopter will stop from uh, its forward, reverse, uh, left, right flight. That is 36, uh, 38%, sorry, right there. And then we have the maximum flight speed adjusted to 72 km per hour, which you can adjust to slower and higher as well. This is a very good option right here because people can set the maximum speed of their helicopter by themselves. And then we have a high sensitivity, which is set to 95%. Now at the left side, we have the option, which is from the one, the first one is cross sensitivity set to 50%, cross curve set to 62%, roll speed 40%, and then we have a style and feel, which is normal. So you can have the options like precision base, normal or flexible. So at the moment it's, it's normal. Then we have a spin velocity, which is 25%. Now this is another new option, very, very good option that we will have for our helicopters, flying helicopters. We can set how fast the tail should spin. Okay, so at the moment it's set on 25%. And then we have a, a last one, a lock tail compensation, tail lock compensation, which is set on 10% right here. On the top here, we have soft mode, uh, standard mode, and sports flight mode, which I have not touched anything at the moment. The uh, standard flight mode is orange. This means I will assume that it's set in standard flight mode. So these were the settings uh, that the software changed. And before we never had this software, now we have this software. I'm very, very happy that we are getting, you know, these options to set as we want to do. But the question is why Flywing did not give us this software before? Very important question. And the reasons were very simple. People do not understand what these settings can do and how they can affect your helicopter's flight performance 
drastically. I mean, it can definitely change a whole lot on your helicopter's flight performance. So people don't understand what these will do. And that is why Flywing never gave these options to people. But now as people are realizing and learning, they are going to give these options to us so that we can fully understand and tweak helicopter. So I will suggest do not play with these settings once again un unless you fully understand what each setting and how this will affect your helicopter's flight performance. I would say just click that auto button and let it switch to those settings which are over and over again tested by Flywing engineers and they know they are working and they are right. So just click that button and switch to those auto settings automatically. And then your helicopter H1 flight controller will save the settings. After that, you will have to do the compass calibration dance. After that, you can go out, fly your helicopter and enjoy the new stable flight performance. All right, welcome back. Now that you have seen how easy it was for me to update my UH1 with the newest parameters that are tested by the Flywing and, you know, recommended by the Flywing, just one click and everything is updated. And I have options and I have now access to the options, many more options that I want to play with, of course, in coming, uh, coming days. And I will show you what those options can do. So I'm very, very happy that Flywing finally took the consideration to release the software and give all these options to us, the users, and we can tweak our Flywing RC helicopters to the point where we really want them to fly as we want. Thank you very much, Flywing. I hope you will release this software very, very soon in English for the general public so they can all start using the software and update their Flywing RC helicopters to the latest and the best options possible thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned as soon as the software is as soon as the software is released of course i will give you an update so don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications now let's go out and fly the huey uh1 and test its flight performance see what has changed for which i have made another video and the link is in video description so go ahead and watch that video as well oh!